In this video, I will discuss five key strategies to set up a profitable operation. I am Pink Giraffe and this is definitely not fried chicken. The first step is an efficient factor setup. In my previous save, my subs were productive but they ended up starving to death. We will not let this happen again, so what do we need for a good setup? First, we're going to purchase slots. The first two slots are free, but I totally recommend a third one because you will need the extra space to build and you will also make use of the additional workers. Similar to the tutorial, I set out a road on the first slot. Originally, I had put three mopeds in instead, but I totally recommend putting four right away, make use of all the space that you have to get out more deliveries at the same time. For the rest of the factory, we're going to design it in reverse order. And first, next to the garages, you want to build a storeroom. This will make it easy for workers to deliver packed goods to the mopeds. Similarly, we're going to have the grow room where you grow your plants next to the storeroom. Now, it's important to make use of the rest of the space, which is where I faulted in my previous save. I set out the corridor this time around and I added three more rooms, toilet, a kitchen and a bedroom. These three rooms are enough for my staff to fulfill all their five needs. Bathroom needs, hygiene, hunger, tiredness and fun. And yes, the fun comes from the bedroom because they have bookshelves. That's not what you were thinking, but yes, the bookshelves are the most fun that they're getting. With that said, I'm pretty good to go with all the facilities and we are going to be able to start playing. Before I do, I'll have to make sure you buy the hotline antenna so that you can take orders so you can make money. Step 2 is hiring a balanced staff and setting up schedules. Since we have purchased an extra plot, we have 6 slots available for employees. I usually would recommend to set 3 workers, 1 engineer, 1 cleaner and 1 guard. However, before you hire everyone, make sure to wait for the first delivery. So hire only 2 workers, set up a first delivery and once that happens, a special event is going to trigger. The major from your tutorial will send out people and chicken suits to kill and destroy all your stuff and buildings. This will set you back because you have to hire everyone. In my case, I had hired 6 people, so now I have the cost of hiring another 6 people. If you hired only 2, you've saved a lot of money. Once you've hired your staff, make sure to purchase any equipment, for example to improve their gardening times, and also set 3 different schedules to make sure that everyone has enough rest and enough work, and that at any given time someone is working. This is important so that you have deliveries at any given time. Speaking of deliveries, we're going to talk about step 3, maximizing your moped efficiency. A common mistake because I read it on the forum and I did it myself. From the dispatch menu, you're only selecting clients from the first moped. On the left, you can select each moped separately, so make sure to click each one and send them out to different clients. It's important that whenever there is a timed client, they give you for example 15 minutes for a better reward, it's ideal that you send multiple deliveries to the same person. You have to keep track of these deliveries because if you're sending only to one person and that person's delivery is complete, your mopeds will not go out on other deliveries. So you need to either be efficient by selecting multiple at once on all mopeds or try to be micromanaging and make sure that at any given time they're doing deliveries efficiently. The step 4 is setting up a secondary business. One of the first businesses you can unlock is the laundromat business, you can purchase the license for 4k and you can purchase another slot for 3k, so once you've gathered some money, make sure to do that. At first, because I was limited in money, I was building one part, then another, then another, but it's nice to have all the facilities available before you start opening. Now, you might be asking, where is the laundromat going to make you money from? The real answer is the factory. From your mopeds, you can deliver packages to your stores. So yes, make sure to have a storeroom in your laundromat and your staff, your workers, will accept the delivery, put it in the storeroom and they will have clients that they will sell the plants to. For instance, you have a customer buying detergent for $6, okay, but then the next one is buying wheat for $350. Now that's where the money is at. It's important that you pay attention to the workflow of the laundromat, especially connected to your factory, 
because an easy mistake you can do is to set up deliveries when you have no stuff available at the laundromat. If a moped delivery driver arrives at your laundromat and there is no workers, it will just sit there, it will not do anything, it will not go to the next delivery and it just waits for someone to pick it up. To avoid this, either hire more staff to ensure that every hour is being worked or you can micromanage your moped to so not send out deliveries during your laundromat closure. With the second business open, you should already be making profits more regularly on the day-to-day -day basis. However, the fifth strategy is to focus on unlocks and upgrades. On the dispatch map, you can send deliveries to the university, the gun shop and scrapyard. By sending plants, especially good quality plants, you gain points which you can redeem for new unlocks, like new plants, drugs, weaponry, armor and vehicles for bigger deliveries. This is something that I completely did not notice, but it's definitely worth doing because you want to upgrade, you want to unlock new stuff, otherwise you're not going to be making lots of money, right? The other thing you can upgrade is your secondary businesses. If I click on the laundromat, I can see that it can have potentially 5 stars. One of the stars is achievable quite easily by building toilets for clients. It only takes a little bit of money to invest in a room and a toilet and it's pretty much set. The second star that I achieved was by hiring two more cleaners to make sure that there is a cleaning at every hour. With those couple of upgrades, I was quite satisfied with my current operation chain and I look forward to unlocking more stuff with the university and scrapyard in particular so that I can have a more successful and varied business. I hope you can take my tips and strategies to be able to manage and make a profitable, legitimate business. I thank you for watching and if you enjoyed my video, make sure to subscribe. Bye bye!